Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another comfort food for the family. I'm very excited about today's recipe. It was absolutely delicious. It is very low point and it is really truly perfect for the entire family. So if you wanna see what I make, stay tuned. For tonight's cook with me, we are making a cheesy Italian skillet. And these two are wrestling in the living room. So I apologize for any noise coming from the crazies in the living room. But this is what is in our cheesy Italian skillet. So we have Worcestershire sauce. Is that how you pronounce it? Worcestershire. Um, please correct me if I slaughtered that. Brown rice. It does say not instant. Now I only have this microwavable rice. But I've made this recipe before and this works just fine. So use what you have on hand. Beef broth, one pound of 96.4 or whatever type of ground beef that you want to use. A medium onion, a red pepper, zucchini, light mozzarella, and of course I'm going to use my fave, Trader Joe's. Zero point crock pot marinara. Now you can use jarred or canned marinara. You'll just have to adjust your points accordingly. And then our spices are easy. We have salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. So this is everything in our cheesy Italian skillet. The first thing we need to do is get our vegetables chopped up. We are actually going to add our onion and our pepper at the same time to our dish. So I'm going to chop those and put those in a bowl. And then our zucchini is added separately. So I'm going to chop that and put that in an additional bowl. And then we will be ready to get started. So let's chop these veggies. Once we chop our vegetables, the first thing we need to do to our large skillet is add our one pound of our ground beef. We're gonna break this up and get this starting to brown before we add in our onions and our peppers. Once our hamburger is browned, we are going to add in our cut up peppers and onions. And then the recipe calls for garlic, which I am out of minced garlic. So I'm gonna sub that out with just a little bit of garlic powder, just to give it that kind of garlicky flavor since I am out of the minced garlic. And then we are going to let this cook until these vegetables have begun to soften. Once your onions and pepper have started to soften, we are going to add in our cut zucchini and we are going to let this cook down until the zucchini is softened as well. Um, and then we will add some more of our ingredients, but. This looks so good. Super healthy, but super delicious. Once your zucchini is slightly softened, now you don't want everything cooked 100% through because we are going to allow this to cook quite a bit longer. So the next step is to add the majority of the rest of our ingredients. We are going to add in two cups of our beef broth. And I just went ahead and measured that out. It was not the whole box of beef broth. And then to that, we are going to add our marinara. And this here is two cups of marinara so when i make this in the crock pot i measure it out into individual ziploc bags and that is how i store the marinara so when i did put this in the bag i measured out roughly two cups of the marinara Whew, i'm at a mess so there is our beef broth and our marinara and then we are also going to add in our rice and again this is the trader joe's microwavable brown rice it should cook a lot faster than regular rice. So the recipe calls for regular rice and it says that you have to cook this for 16 to 18 minutes. But because I use the Trader Joe's rice, this is going to definitely cook faster for me. You can do whatever you want. I just didn't have any of regular dry rice on hand. 
And then to that, I did measure it out in here. It's what's left of my Worcestershire sauce, which is two tablespoons. And then we are going to add our seasoning. So first up is our Italian seasoning. And as you know, I usually season to taste. Feel free to follow the recipe, but I typically do it to my taste for spicing. And then we've got our black pepper. And lastly, we have some sea salt. So we're just gonna add all of that, give it a quick stir. And then we are going to put the lid on this. And again, the recipe says 16 to 18 minutes, but because this is more of an instant brown rice, it'll cook a lot faster for me. So I'm gonna get the lid on this and we will let this cook and I will be back shortly. Once your rice is cooked through, the last step is to add your one cup of your mozzarella cheese. And we just wanna kinda of distribute that as even as we can over the top. And then that is going to give us that cheesy topping. And the recipe says that you can garnish it with parsley. So I will do that. Let me serve up um, one and a quarter cups, which is a serving. And I will show you what that looks like and give you the points. And here is my plated up cheesy Italian skillet. This is one serving, which is one and one quarter cup. That's a lot of food for six smart points. So I am going to list all the smart points as well on the screen, but this looks so good. It smells amazing. So let's dig in. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you try the recipe and what you and your family thinks. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.